Cardi K on the caddy. Now how that back rap is that? Hey guys, it's Bo from Laxplot here, and uh, I want to start a new series where I take a head that say has ball burns, uh, scoobies, maybe like a messed up die, scratches, and re-dye the head or clean the head up and um, re-string it and bring, bring it back to life. So if I get a good reaction, I'll be making more videos about, uh, more s videos about this. And um, this is part one, part two, I'll be sharing it all scrubbed up and more white. So uh, thanks and see ya. So here it is all uh, clean. And I just use a sponge and some soap and scrub it really hard. Um, it's a lot whiter significantly on the scoop. Obviously you can't scrub off a dye, but um, there was Sharpie over these. I didn't know the, how those would react to the dye or how it looked, so I just scrubbed it off. Um, but it's significantly whiter, got the ball burns off, and uh, we're gonna be dying over these anyway. So here the head is, all ready to be dyed. I did a checkerboard bottom design, a T up here, T up here for Tritons. And um, I covered up the GS because he wants to keep that, a T down here and a T down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a red on this half. So it's going to be red and white and then a black, either straight line or a fade, so it's like fading into a checkerboard, which I think would be really cool. But with the black, fades don't really come out that well. I'm gonna see if it comes out that well. It doesn't, I'm just gonna do a straight line. Um, and what I do to get these logos on is first to cut your logo, you get a, uh, I have like a glass piece I use. East Coast Dyes did a tutorial on this. You get a piece of paper and you cut out your logo and um, out of the paper. That's the hardest part, personally, because um, paper is really fragile. And then you put down a piece of electrical tape, so just a strip, like right there. You put your logo on top of it and scotch tape on top of that. So first that makes like um, raised edges because the paper's there and it's see-through. So it makes it really easy to cut out your designs, stick them on the head. So there's the T, there's another T, and I just use the same T the whole time. Um, now it has like a layer of scotch tape on it, you can kind of see it looks different. Um, but, and it comes out real nicely for the checkerboard. I just put down a strip, and then for how long the this is, right here, um, then you do it in width instead of like the length. So you can just cut that much and you get a perfect square. I just measured it up and uh, like put it where each one was. And it, I think, um, and then what you do is you put them down, you get like a um, blow dryer and put it on high heat and put it right next to it, blow dry it for like a minute and then squeeze it on. Do it to all your logos and then the checkerboard you kind of just like go around the blow dryer and squeeze them all down and um, that really helps and then you want to set the adhesive and then you want to let it rest for a day or two um, I've always seen that makes the dyes the cleanest this is kind of a hard head to dye because it's very uh, it doesn't have like large flat areas and it's very curvy but um, so the next step will be the red dye so here the head is with part one done I um it can it's a really really nice checkerboard design very clean came out pretty much perfect beside for a little color um fading here and that's because of the NAS technology that's where they put in the NAS but other than that there's a uh, pretty much no bleeding and I'm pretty happy with it the T's came out perfect too so I was really happy with that and it came out a really, really nice red color. There's a little discoloration here, but that's just because of the gnaws. So there's nothing I can do about that. And it um, came out really nice. So part two of it will be down in a little bit. Hey guys, um, so 
here is the finished die for me personally it looks amazing I did a really light fade because I it looks really cool on the checkerboard um, and then as you saw before the whites on the red came out perfect and then the top just came out inc incredibly clean um, the tees are perfect white and the the f the black it's like a matte black clutch if you know what that is like they came out with a few matte black heads but those chip this doesn't so at worst it's going to get like a little faded and the back's going to get scraped up compared to like the matte black, matte black clutch i just shown one for the same person it gets all chipped up like a chrome head but um it came out perfect personally um the only thing that's a different bad is there's a little bit of a difference in the color but you can hardly tell unless you're really close and that's just because I didn't try to even mask over this one on one because I knew it either bleed or come out bad so I just put a strip of electrical tape as you saw earlier and you can't even see the PG or the SG really at all yeah I can't even see it at all so I'm really happy with how it came out and um, I'll be shaking it up in a little bit. So I did an Iroquois top string, and I'm gonna be shaking the sidewalls now. I come from Cleveland, y'all can really hear it now. Hit them like comic books, kaboom, pow, pow. Into a girl's mind, spit fine, no wine dine. I keep two phone sidekick for bad times. And the topic you question is why I'm so chill. Girls don't understand, he ain't even made a meal. And say I'm complex just like the magazine. I want my closet complex like the magazine. I get in their head, they don't even see my brain. Oh, so, oh, so fly, cool as I wanna be, one hell of a guy. I keep them short and sweet, thick and petite. Riding alongside in my color supreme. I'm from a place where old schools are common. Yep. Gotta explain every time I'm rhyming, I be. I be on day rolling in my whip. So here's the finished product, and um, it's a really nice mid pocket. Overall, the head looks great. I love how it came out. Um, the colors are magnificent, and easily probably my best guy. Has a nice channel, really nice pocket placement. So because it's an Iroquois, the mid has the release and the feel of a high pocket, but you're still going to be able to one hand cradle really nicely and then shift up for cranks so it wants to sit right about there and um, I it's my first time doing like a live stream so I didn't get it all but my Iroquois I retightened it and placed it better it's pretty much perfect and I uh, shrunk the bottom string added a barrel nylon and a straight shooter um it has a ton of hold and i really like how it comes out i really like how it came out so uh for more of these type of videos tell me if you guys like them like like this video or just write something in the comments maybe something to improve on um i'm probably going to be doing more and uh make sure to subscribe and uh like us on facebook and see you later guys